try to do blood and blood. <laughs> yeah, We're gonna yeah, get flagged on YouTube for that. Get killed. <laughs> <laughs>Hello, everybody, and welcome again to Keystone Film Review. We just saw Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, directed by Sam Raimi. I had it up, and then I put it away. You did. Uh, uh, starring Benedict Cumberbatch and the superior good Benedict, old, Benedict Wong. Good old Benny Dick and Benny Wang. Yep, Elizabeth Wong. Olsen, uh, Shuatel Gia Four, uh, Sal, 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 Salshiel Gomez, I believe is how it is. I had it up. Oh, my God. Salshiel Gomez. Sal, Salshiel Go. Sochil Gomez. Sochil Gomez. Sochil. Sochil. According to Google, if that's wrong, it's Google's fault. Uh, Rachel McAdam, Michael Stuhlbarg, not in it nearly enough. And plenty of others. And plenty of others. This is another multiverse movie. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, we had Spider-Man No Way Home and Everything Everywhere all at once. And yep. I'm sure there's been another and at some point. There's only going to be more. There's only going to be more because that is the new shit. Mm -hmm. That is the new deal. Now... For those of you who listen to us, follow us uh, regularly, you know this already, but I'm going to say this for any it's new... It's just a warning. It's, it's a warning. Fine. I am not a Marvel fan. He's kind of a Marvel fan. You're probably not going to like what I have to say for the most part, because I uh, am not as attached to characters as other people are. Mm -hmm. I don't get as excited about certain things as other people do. If you do, that is great. I'm happy for you. These are just my opinions. You've been warned. With that being said, visually, this is the most interesting Marvel movie I've seen in a very long time. Yes. Uh, Sam Raimi directed it, of course. He's known for, like, Evil Dead. Uh, Spider-Man. Uh, Dark Man, uh, Spider-Man 1, 2, 3 the, with uh, Tobey Maguire. And he has always had a unique visual style. I have problems with his lighting. He usually lights uh, things pretty flat. Uh, but... I've, I like his camera work. I like how he moves the camera. I just mm -hmm. don't like how he lights things. And same thing with this. I don't like how it's lit, but I like yeah. I like the movement it does. Um, and I appreciated that aspect of it. Getting the positives out there to hopefully <laughs> save face a little bit. Yep. Uh, it's visually a, a, a fun movie. I, I yeah. Just like that. just like the last one was. It it was all uh, Benny D was whipping out some. Bendy objects all over the... That yes, he was. <laughs> <laughs> Benny D was whipping out the D. He was whipping out some more geometry on objects <laughs> in this movie, just like the last two he was kind of in, and four, and five, or whatever the fuck. He's been in a lot. He has been, yeah. Uh, yes, definitely an interesting film, uh, to say the least. Uh, it's it's very hard. We're trying not to do spoilers right off the riff. Yeah, we will get into spoilers in a bit. But we're... It's very hard to go into a spoiler free review without kind of just not making any sense of what I'm saying at all. Yeah. Uh, the performances were for the most part good. Uh, the actress uh, who played America Chavez, uh, Sauchiel or Sochiel uh, Gomez, she was inconsistent. Sometimes she was good. Some scenes she was not good. Uh, but, I mean, I think this is, like, one of her first roles, so I'm so, not really holding it against her. Yeah, just Sometimes it would depend on the delivery of the line. Like, or the line itself, because yeah, um, Sam Raimi does not always have great dialogue and doesn't work on dialogue throughout the movies. It just kind of goes with what the script says. There'd be points where, like, some shit's going down and she's blood-curdling, screaming, God-fearing for her life, and then... A situation where she should be scared in again. She's not nearly as blood curdling, screaming, scared for her life. Yeah. Shit like again, that. that's more direction than it yeah. is actual performance. So, it's very weird. Yes. And that lighting. <laughs> <laughs> that lighting. Uh, but it is. It's it's a fine movie. There's a lot of lot of fan service for Marvel fans. Yeah. Which we'll get into in a minute. Honestly, my least favorite part of this movie was watching it with a bunch of Marvel fans. We usually try to do it on a like a Thursday night, like first first night where it's a Thursday night and people are probably in school or some bullshit. And we go to a less busy theater. And we go, yeah, too. a less busy theater, and it's later. Now we came on a Friday night, uh, and, and so did a bunch of other people. <laughs> so did a bunch of other people. Again, I'm not trying to knock how they're enjoying things, but what a lot of you uh, Marvel fans don't realize is when you're screaming and cheering for stuff. You miss a lot of information. Mm -hmm. They don't pause for things like they do with the Avengers Assemble thing in, in uh, 
um, uh, Endgame. It, it's it's hard to hear what's going on when y'all are screaming. Mm -hmm. And one guy thinking he's hilarious going, oh, that's a spoiler, honestly. There's a person in the movie and he yells something that that guy is from and goes, y'all. So oh, that was that was that was before the movie. No, he did it again did he? when a certain person showed up. Oh, I didn't even. So let's it. just say it is not at all. But let's just say it's Walter White from Breaking Bad that shows up. <laughs> it's not. But he 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 went Breaking Bad, y'all, before what this guy is known for, and that that's just not funny. It's yeah. not funny. It's not clever. Before it's jump, annoying. Before jumping into a spoiler review, um, I don't. I liked the first Doctor Strange. Um, then again, I don't remember it too much because it's not one of my favorite of the Marvel movies. Uh, this is inconsistent with how I liked it. Like, there's a lot of parts where I liked it, a lot of parts where I didn't like it. That's me with Sam Raimi, everything. Yeah, too. and it, it's, it was tough to balance that because a lot of it was enjoyable, a lot of it was corny, a lot of it was fun, a lot of it wasn't, a lot of it wasn't, a lot of it wasn't, and then... Of course, there was the, the, the fandom screaming next to us. And coming. You can't forget the coming <laughs> oh, next to us. Oh, 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 turn it off, I'm dry! <laughs> um, but, you know, that's kind of really all I have to say. It was yeah. before I jumped um, into it. So we'll probably put a timestamp here when yeah. we actually rate. I will so I will put uh, say one thing before we get into spoilers. I'm curious to know how much money Disney paid the MPA to keep this PG-13 and not rated R, because it Seriously. is... It is a... I've seen R-rated movies that are less horrifying than this. It's brutal. Uh, and if you've ever seen the documentary, um, uh, this film is not yet rated, about the MPA, use, uh, that used to be called the MPAA, uh, there's a lot of politics in rating films, and certain studios pay money to get it knocked down, as long as it's not anything too crazy like graphic nudity or anything yeah they, they'll pay to get a, a a rating down and this was one of them because this definitely had some questionable this shit. has more horrifying sequences than the original evil dead that sam raimi directed mm -hmm. and that's rated r that was rated r in the 80s lower budget but still lower budget but uh, yeah so this there's definitely some money shenanigans going on which i have no problem with you know i i don't have shenanay away sh shenanay away uh but yeah it's it's a very hard pg-13 probably normally would be an r if it weren't owned by disney um but what can you do what can you what do can you do but yes and again time stamp Here time stamp go. boom this is when we talk about the review stop talking about spoilers mm -hmm. Mamu. I've come to bargain. Uh, spoilers! Sorry. Spoilers! Um, Wanda is a fucking narcissist. Yeah, big time. And I went from liking her character to completely disliking her character in this. Mm -hmm. Any empathy, empathy, uh, empathy they built for her with uh, WandaVision ripped apart in seconds with this movie. Uh, and I know that that's the point of this movie, but it felt like a major leap compared to the end of WandaVision. Bounds, quite. Like, like an ocean, Pacific Ocean distant leap mm -hmm. from the end of WandaVision to this. Uh, so again, it's just consistency. Uh, it was interesting. I, I did I did call like a couple days before this movie actually did come out. I was like, I guarantee you, <laughs> again, spoilers, I was like, Wanda's going to be the fucking villain. That's yeah. the, it's I mean, easy. Yeah, and a lot of people picked yeah. up on that too. But the, the stretch they made for it to happen... Mm -hmm was so distant. And, and her so, two boys aren't even that fucking cute and lovable. They're not. They're annoying as shit. <laughs> they're, they're, they're very annoying. They've got two faces only a mother could love, <laughs> and I'm here being a man, a single not father. No, but it's, it's, it, it definitely, show, like, why, why would we give a shit if she doesn't give a shit? Why would we give a shit about her if she doesn't give a shit about anyone else? Mm -hmm. That's my whole thing. And they play it off trying to be empathetic, especially towards the end of the film. And it just doesn't work, in my opinion. Yeah, uh, It worked in WandaVision because, you know, she was kind of... She didn't have the clarity. She was lost in her own mind. In this, she has 100% clarity what she's trying to do, which gets rid of any benefit of the doubt. And it's just... It's a, yeah, but it's you've, inconsistent. You've That's known a, this character for the last 
uh, almost 10 years. You need to be sympathetic with the fact that she wants her boys, okay? Yeah. But she's um, taking the boys from someone else, and she's also taking the yeah, life of someone. I mean, it's... Her being a villain was really cool for the moments that were, like, especially the super moments that were pushing that PG-13. Yeah, the the, the visuals of it. The visuals of her just... How she should have been this whole fucking time as a character is just overpowered as shit. Mm-hmm. And kick ass. There's not enough gray area in the rest of the movies and shows that she's in Mm -hmm. for this to really be believable. I'm sure you could be like, well, in the comic books, guess what? This isn't the fucking comic books. Mm -hmm. This is the MCU. We're going off what the MCU says. Now now she's super OP because she actually is now the Scarlet Witch. But she had all those powers before. She just wasn't using them to her full potential or some shit. I'm sure somebody will argue with me about that. But you, you you can't... Say well the comic books because this isn't the comic books. You gotta everything is separate. It's called the cinematic universe mm-hmm. for a reason. It's not the Marvel universe. It's the Marvel cinematic universe. Yeah. So the comic books don't mean shit here, uh, other than like oh that's a cool character. I I know that okay. person. Uh, but yeah, you you can't compare these or even like add stuff from the comic books. It just doesn't work that way. Yeah. Um, but you know, there's a lot of cool cameos in this. Mm-hmm. Uh, many of which were in the trailer, but people still jizz their pants oh for. Uh, like, everyone knew Patrick Stewart was going to be in this, but this guy next to me, again, I'm glad that he enjoyed it, but he was going a little too hard. There was a lot he might not there. have seen the trailer, but if he's been on the internet in the past six mm-hmm. months, he would have known. Uh, and he, when Patrick Sh- Stewart showed up, he went, oh! It's screaming. Yeah. That's, that's what, I used to be a... Like big Marvel fanboy, like I'm not not like to the the extent of that guy shitting his and shitting. It's okay to be excited, but but contain yourself. That 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 Marvel fandom has ruined wanting to be a Marvel fan, almost entirely. Like mm-hmm. it's hard to go like watch these movies like that. And sure, I'm, I I might be a stubborn prick, whatever. <laughs> I get, I know what I am. Mm-hmm. But I mean, it, it does make it really hard to enjoy these things when. You you are missing uh, Q like speech. dialogue. Yeah, dialogue. I had but... no idea what the fuck was going on when the, when the uh, Illuminati showed up. Mm-hmm. That was like uh, uh, Chiwetel Gia for uh, Mr. Fantastic's in there. John Krasinski when someone went office y'all. We we find oh, is that what happened? Yeah, yes. He, he yelled office y'all. I, all I heard was screaming. Like hey, we finally <sighs> got John Krasinski in, which we knew. And I can't... we knew he was going to be fan Mr. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, we kind of knew. No, like, we knew. I, I it, had no idea. <laughs> it, it has been reported. I mean, they they I think they're filming it now. There, it's, I had no idea. It, it had so. been officially announced that he was going to be Mr. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. So it was really cool to see him on there. It was cool and to then, see him, but everyone yelling ruined it because I couldn't hear what he was saying. Murder! I couldn't hear what he was saying. And he was he was saying something that like about sh- like shit that we needed to know about yeah. like Doctor Strange. And it was an exposition universe. dump, which you, uh, while exposition dumps oh are lazy, God. you need to know In what's movie, going on. There's a lot of exposition dumps. This movie dumps. had so much exposition. Yeah. I think that, that was another big flaw away from it is how much exposition there was. I mean, when you go into multiverse bullshit, you're just going to get a, a lot of explaining because they're trying to cover their tracks, and which they did. Because we, we turned You know to each what other. does it pretty well, though? Everything, Everything everywhere, everywhere all at once. once. Because, like, we, we turn to each other multiple times, like, how the fuck would that work? And then they're like, how the fuck would that work in the yeah. movie? And they're like, okay. Yeah, it, it, they did explain some of, like, the questions we had. Not all of them, but mm-hmm. some of them. Uh, and it, it, But it was it was so clunky with how it happened. Yeah. And, again, I don't want to keep comparing this to everything, everywhere, all at once. But, like, the, gra- the, the visuals, the, the special effects and everything, everywhere, all at once look better than, they, than this did. And that was a team of nine people who had never done special effects before or visual effects. Yeah. What the fuck is Marvel doing with all the money if they're not going to go to effects? Because it looked like a video game. What? It looked like a video game. What else was there? I mean, we, we've said multiple times the visuals were pretty pretty cool in this. Uh, Can't, yeah, camera-wise. It, yeah. it did have a lot of like positives, but it was kind of overhauled by a lot of the negatives. Yeah. Uh, exposition, a big one. Um, mm-hmm. Another one that I, I, and I don't want to be so fucking negative to this, but another one is how much they stressed to you that uh, Doctor Strange, Stephen Strange, is nothing more than being a surgeon, being a sorcerer, and f- being in love with Rachel McAdams' character. That's, He's a simp. That's it. 
They, yeah. That's the whole man to a T. Yeah. And his whole motto is, we've got rules. We can't break those rules, but I'm going to break those rules. That's his whole fucking character. <laughs> Everything I just said in the last minute and a half, that's Dr. Stephen Strange. Yeah. And that, that drives I mean, when me he nuts. breaks the rules, it has some of the coolest visuals. Like 100%. When, when he's a zombie, that was really fucking cool. Um, the, uh, uh, another thing that bothers me about, at least, this is not all Marvel fans. I'm ranting a little bit here because the guy next to me was so annoying. Uh, again, glad he enjoyed it, but, and we're still in spoilers. Yeah. Uh, when the Illuminati come, where's Mr. Fantastic Professor X, uh, uh, Black Bolt? Black Bolt. Black Bolt, um, uh, Chiwetel Giafor, I forget his so, character name. And why am I forgetting? Captain that? United Kingdom or Captain Britain? Captain. It's whatever her face is from the Captain uh, America. Haley. Yes, it's her character as the British version of him. Brain um, when they all get killed by the Red Scarlet, he was just like, oh, oh how are you going to kill them? Scarlet. We're in the multiverse, guy. They're not really dead. No one's ever really dead. Mm. To quote Star Wars. Well, that's, uh, that's another thing with like a multiverse thing is even though sure Benedict 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 Cumberbitch <laughs> Benedict's always going to be Benedict in a different universe or whatever, but no they're not going to have the same lives like they're not going to have the same lifestyle and how they yeah. come up to be that yeah so like, they eh, whatever I don't know. that's just nitpicking that's well that's the thing with with like Rachel McAdams character. Is the same in every universe. Mm -hmm. It was the same way with. Uh, it was mostly with like all the doctors. In movies. reality, granted, I know this is a movie. Just, just humor me for a second. In reality, if you had your soulmate in this relation in this universe and saw the same soulmate in another universe, they're not going to be the same person. Mm -hmm. Whatever little minute things changed within are going to create a butterfly effect and make that person completely different. Even even the one Doctor Strange, his whole fucking universe was like split and just decrepit and had tornadoes and oceans and shit. He still wanted and the same, like, though. And he's like, yeah, I remember Catherine or whatever the fuck her name was. Chris Christine. Christine. <laughs> I remember going to her wedding and her having the same oh. conversation with me as I had with you had with The her. exact same one. How? You know you know who did the multiverse better? Everything everywhere all at once. Oh, there's a lot of nitpicky Just stuff characters about this. Were different. But I mean for the most part it was it was it was fun. It was interesting. Yeah. Um, and, and my my biggest problem was the the crowd we watched it with. I'm glad that's, that they that's enjoyed it. Be every Marvel movie yes. we're gonna do. I'm glad that they enjoyed it, but you I don't think they realize how much details they're missing by screaming their heads off at every little thing, most of which are in the trailer. Here was a really cool conniption that I've had in my life, a little fathom, mm -hmm. a little brain blast, is that the age that we're in now, and like whether or not it's my age or below, our age or below, these Marvel movies are just the new versions of the 80s action movie stars. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I blew my mind the other day because there's 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 a bunch of kids who are like, oh fucking Oscar Isaac, Benny D, Benny D Cumberbatch, holy shit, fucking yeah. uh, Hawkeye. No, you guys don't like Hawkeye that much, but it's <laughs> <laughs> I love Jeremy Renner, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you guys don't like him that much. Tom and, Holland, uh, Tom, oh Tom Hiddleston too, Tom Hiddleston, holy shit, yeah. like they're all. The new generations of 80s action stuff. The only difference is they only care about one character that they play. Mm -hmm. They don't care about, uh, like, the imitation game. Uh, they don't care about um, uh, anything that Tom Hiddleston's been in that I can't remember. They don't care about uh, the most wanted man. or they, mo Is it most wanted man they, or most they, wanted year? They do. They do? Mm -hmm. Really? Most violent year. Most violent year. That's what it is. But they do. Oh, okay. So... Shows you how many young people I. Yeah. Around. No, I mean it's 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 cool to kind of put it in that perspective. Like, yeah. These movies are roller coasters, Martin Scorsese, but they're also the things, they're also this version, this universe's multiverse's yeah. version of '80s action heroes, and that, that was a wild thing to think about. Yeah, hey, we're still cool. talking about multiverse of madness. I don't. I think Martin Scorsese gets a bad rap for saying that because well, who doesn't like roller coasters? I mean. 
It's fine what he said. Yeah, I like think every, I, I think everybody just took it a little too close to way, the heart. Way too seriously. Yeah, it's it's they they are roller coasters, but that's completely fine. Mm -hmm. Like, who cares if he thinks that the roller coasters? Yeah. Um, I don't know how much more. Shit talking aside, I thought this movie was fine. Uh, I thought visually it had some really cool things, mm -hmm. especially towards the end with the zombie dude yeah um but it is i th i have just come to terms with the fact that these movies are no longer for me i didn't really care towards the end of the avengers era i really don't care now well now um, it's a whole different thing because now like we we had built from captain america or whatever the fuck mm -hmm. the first movie was that we had to this and that was a huge storytelling standpoint and now it's going further further than i even know about like all the eternals and, and like even at the the end credit i didn't know who the fuck charlize theron was um i thought she was psylocke i have I'm, I'm like that bitch can teleport now to the universes what the fuck the guy next to me knew who she was i, I, I don't I, doubt it he knew who yeah. fucking came in his pants him yeah every three seconds um i did like how professor x was in his like yellow chair yeah that was one thing that like i remember that from from when i was a kid so i was like oh that's cool but then he was talking and the guy next to me was coming a thousand times very distracting so i i you know i just heard jizz hitting the inside of jeans and not <laughs> not what the dialogue that was written was that was explaining what was happening so, um, yeah, yeah, enjoyable, enjoyable, uh, rating wise, I, I, down the middle, three, well, that's not quite, that's not quite the middle, middle, but I'm, it's, I'm, it's better than a two and a half, yeah, but I don't want to give it a, th like, I, I, if I never see it again, I'm not going to, it's no unbearable weight of a massive talent. <laughs> yeah, and it's no everything everywhere all at once. It's, I mean, it's not even which close. I've seen five times. Uh, I, th I think so. a three for me too. Yeah, I I don't even think I was even considering a three and a half to be honest. No, I wasn't. I, either. No, I wasn't. Considering I was a honestly and a half. considering. I was considering lower until. Cut that! Cut that! Cut that! That's a spoiler. The uh, the ending of this movie really won it over for me. The to make it better mm -hmm. so i i was kind of flirting with a two two and a half before that and then and i enjoyed where are. it went especially visually but yeah um but again we are not i'm definitely not the marvel fan i, used I to have be. outgrown Mike them is definitely not a marvel i fan. outgrew them uh so two, your, 10 years ago your so. rating and opinion is going to be a lot different from ours Sorry and it's going to matter to you more than it does th than ours does to you nobody watches so. us anyway don't even argue with us that much it's fine <laughs> <laughs> no but i i really do welcome people like putting their own perspective like just know that you're not going to change my mind because i've i deal with these movies i've seen pretty much all of them and, and I just we'll, and we'll continue to keep watching we'll continue them. to keep watching them because to some level they are enjoyable, mm -hmm. but I'm not going to care as much as you. So, just like you're not going to care about everything everywhere all at once as much as I think you should, and that's okay. But if you haven't seen everything everywhere all at once, go see it. It's a fun movie. Or Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. You can see both. You don't have to just see one movie. Well, ticket prices, unless you have the unlimited plan. Get the unlimited plan! <laughs> Anyone who likes movies should have the unlimited plan. What's wrong with you? This is not an ad. This is not an ad. It's just, it's, <laughs> it, financially, it makes sense. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, that's, that's all I got. So. Yeah. Um. Wax on, wax off. You know how it goes. Ah! <laughs> <laughs>